Okay, so our read aloud today is called Keep the Change. And what do you guys notice? about the first one on this one and this one. They changed the picture. They changed the picture again, didn't they? They did that last week, so they're doing that for these last few weeks. They're changing the pictures a little bit, but it's the same read aloud. It's called Keep the Change. So think about what can you do with your money? Why do some people like to collect coins? And I know we, when we talked about money a while back in math, we talked about collecting coins. So let's hear why some people like to collect them. Okay? Keep the change. What can you do with your money? Why do some people like to collect coins? Why does everyone have bills in their wallet or coins jingling in their pockets? Why do people save money in a bank? Money is anything used by people to pay for goods and services. Having money to buy things we need or want feels good. Perhaps you get an allowance each week from your family. You may earn some money doing chores. If you spend your money as soon as you get it, you will be able to buy only smaller things. If you want to buy something that costs more money, you need to save your money until you have enough. Can you think of something else to do with your money besides spending or saving it? You may want to give some money to charity. This would help needy people buy food and clothing. Okay, so at the very end, they talked about the three ways you can use money. Raise your hand if you can tell me one of the ways you can use money. Brooklyn, how can you use money? They talked about it at the very end. Save it. Save it. Yep, you can save it. That's one way you can use your money. You can just save it. What's another one, Kinsley? You can Okay, if you don't get something that's not very much, they talked about that, you're gonna spend it. So you can either save it and get something bigger, or you can spend it and get something smaller. And what was the last one that they said? It's a, it was kind of a big word, Raylan? Give it to charity. Yes, give it to charity. And Raylan, what does that mean? Like, help families that need it more yeah. than you probably do. So, did you guys remember when you brought a dollar in, most of you, and you went and got a hat pass? Yeah. You were taking your money, and you were not saving it. You were giving it. You were not really spending it, because you didn't get anything in return, other than you got to wear a hat all day. But you were giving your money to the charity. charity. So, to all those people at our school that have medical needs. So that's a perfect example of charity. You guys were doing charity work every time you brought a dollar in. You were helping other people, okay? So those are the three ways you can use your money. Save it, spend it, charity, okay? All right, now, they talked about one way how you guys can get money. Does any of you get money at home for doing things? Ooh. Addie, do you? Or not really? Because my girls don't either. If, if they were here, they say, no, if we do chores, I don't pay them. But if you do chores, what might you get? Money. Liddy? Money, money that, um, the only reason why I get money is if your parents don't tell you to do chores if you do them, if your parents aren't telling them. That's oh. what I do. Liddy says, this is good. If you do chores without your parents telling you, they give you money. But if your parents have to make you do chores or tell you to do chores, then they don't give you money. When we do, can I say something? Yeah. We were talking about this on the way to school, and Logan, my fifth grader, I know. sorry, I'm kind of bragging, but we're talking about doing chores and like paying them or whatever, and he's like, Mom, you shouldn't have to pay me. We should do it for the prize. Yes. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. That's so true because yep. moms and dads don't get paid yeah. for keeping the house clean or yes. doing the laundry. Yes. And I think so parents about that. You're and, right. and I would be, and I bet you would too, Miss Stewart, if my girls did chores without me having to tell them, oh, I would I just, my that. heart would melt and I would love that. And you know what? I probably would pay them just because it's like a wonderful surprise. Or take them and do yep. something or, fun. Exactly. Or, yeah. Exactly. So <laughs> if you, <laughs> if your parents, maybe your parents do pay you for chores. What is that called? What is that big word called? 
Kaden, do you know? I don't know the word, but this is um one thing that you could do for your parents. Um, when they don't ask you to make supper for them, still do it. You can oh, still do it. You that's can surprise them. them. If they have a baby, like my mom. Yes, does. yes, you can help them out. Definitely she surprise would love them. That. Definitely, I definitely. Oh, uh, Wyatt. Oh, Kaden, that's so nice. Did you forget why it? Um, I would, I would be, I would be getting annoyed paying my parents every day and wasting money paying <laughs> them every time they wash or do something. Yeah, just think of it that way. What if you had to pay your parents for everything they did for you? Would you like that? No, no, no. 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 So why do they zero pay you? Right, you get to live in the exactly. I I agree with you. Okay, what is that word called? Journey, do you know what the word is called if your parents pay you for doing chores? Well, I don't know what the word is, but okay. I do have something to say. Okay, really quickly, and then I'm looking so for the word. Every Friday, I do my chores. Mom either helps me get grief or get five dollars. See, okay, and what is that called when your mom gives you a treat or five dollars? Do you know what the word is called? Does anybody remember from the, from the video? It's called an allowance. Can you say that with me? Allowance. 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 Okay, so if you don't get an allowance, maybe ask your mom and dad if they'd be willing to consider doing that. Some parents are willing to do it, and some parents really don't want to do allowances either. Okay, let's go on to the next card. Let's see if this picture matches. It does. Some people use money in a different way. They see bills and coins as objects to collect. When coin collectors get a handful of change, they go on a treasure hunt. People collect coins for many reasons. Coins are beautiful. They are made of mixtures of different shiny metals. Some coins, especially old coins, are rare. They are worth a lot of money. Some people have fun collecting coins that were made in the year they were born. Other people collect one type of coin. Some people collect coins from other countries. Coins can teach you about history. A coin may have a portrait of a famous person on the front. The coin is made to honor that person. On the back of the coin, there may be a picture of an important place in our country's history. And so we learned all about this when we studied money and math. So who can tell me on this card what was another way people use money? are worth a lot more than one cent. Since 1909, all pennies have President Abraham Lincoln on the front. But the image on the back has changed a few times. Now, most pennies show the Lincoln Memorial or different scenes from President Lincoln's life. The first Lincoln pennies show bundles of wheat. These wheat pennies are still in use today, and many people collect them. If you have a wheat penny, it's worth at least three cents. It could be worth hundreds of dollars. Nickels can be worth a lot more than five cents, especially if they have a buffalo on the back. Most show President Thomas Jefferson on the front. 
The back shows his beautiful home in Virginia. Some old nickels show a Native American man on the front and a buffalo on the back. The buffalo is a symbol of the American West. These old buffalo nickels are rare. sure we had some wheat pennies, right? Yeah. Did we have any of these nickels? Oh, no. I don't yes. remember seeing one. I see Kinsley? <laughs> you have one at home? This is very rare. And rare means you will probably not find it. And I don't remember anyone bringing one in, but you might have one at home. So if you ever have one of these, save it because it's worth more than what it actually is value valued at. So like this penny, this penny is like one cent. This penny is worth three cents. Even oh, though it says thousand. one cent, that's what it's worth. And this one's worth a lot more. Journey. Did you know that when you walked up the first the two fairy gave you a 50 cent penny? That's no awesome. way, and that's really cool. Said that that's fabulous. Yep. It's rare and it, you, it's that's worth more money, isn't it? Eddie. Mm -hmm. There is one where my mom's. Mm -hmm. It's, it's worth a lot of money. more. Yep, she is probably right. Wyatt. Uh, I, I have a buffalo quarter. A quarter or a nickel. Uh, nickel. You do too. Keep it safe and, at and a safe spot. Grand, and then my papa has um, a Native American nickel. Very cool. Save it at a safe, keep it safe, okay? It's worth a lot. Elias. Then Brooklyn, then we're going to move on to the last part. I got Seven. a gold. Is it a dollar one? I think it's a dollar one. Keep it safe because those are going to be worth a lot too. Times are the smallest, thinnest coins, but many people love to collect them. Since 1946, dimes show Franklin D. Roosevelt on the front. The back shows a torch standing for liberty, an olive branch standing for peace, and an oak branch showing strength. In 1999, the U.S. Mint started the 50-state quarters program. These state quarters show images and symbols from one of the 50 states on the back of the quarter. State quarters are very popular coins to collect. People save the quarters in special albums with slots for all the states. Some people collect the biggest coins, half dollars and dollars. There are many choices of coins to spend, save, give away, or collect. What will you do with your money? And then they talked about the quarters and how those have also changed over time. And they talked about the states and we looked at Mrs. Murphy's state collection map and that started in 1999 and went through 2008. So our quarters, the backs have changed a lot over time. So my question to you is, do you like to collect money since we've talked about it in math and now we're going to talk about it in reading? Is it something you're interested in? What do you think, Kaden? Yes, and I also have um, a Texas coin. You have a Texas quarter? Cool, cool. 
So you are interested in collecting money? Right. Very cool. Raylan, how about you? Is your hand up or are you just stretching? I'm not, no. Oh, okay. I thought maybe your hand was up. I, I guess you're stretching. How about you, Wyatt? I like Canadian dollar bills. Ooh, cool. And I also like to spend money. You like to spend money too? Me too. Oh, I should ask that question. I'll ask that question in just a minute. Addie. I like collecting quarters because it just looks fun. It is fun. I, I could tell you were so excited when we brought in our quarters. You mm -hmm. went home and you and your mom went through them all and was looking for them and looking them up. So that's really neat. Kinsley? Um, I bill is rare too. Um, in a little bit at morning break, we look to see if you have that nickel. You think it's in your bag? Okay. Look at morning break. Uh, Carson. Um, from other countries. Yeah. Okay, now, I have a really good question because I'd love to see this. Put your hands down. All right, you can only raise your hand once. Raise your hand. I, you hear, here's the two choices. The first choice is raise your hand if you like to save money. Okay, just say. And then the second choice is raise your hand if you like to spend money. And I just want to see because every class is so different. And I'll tell you, my two girls, my daughter Brooklyn loves to save money. My daughter Kennedy loves to spend money. They're so different. So I would just want to see what you guys are like. So, and it doesn't matter what your friends think. Put your hands on. Raise your hand if you like to save money. Half you. Raise your hand if you like to spend money. Lewis, you put up two hands. I like to save answers. You can't, you can only put up one, so Lewis. Sorry. So, I think the first time I counted was 11, so it should be about 11, 11, so about equal. So, and that's totally up to you. I mean, it's once you get your money, you've earned it. It's up to you whether you want to save it or spend it or give it to charity. Okay. I want to save it so I can Okay, 